Good morning, everyone. A very, very warm welcome back to everyone from year seven all the way through to year 13. From myself, Mrs Hunt and Mrs Russell. We're all here to tell you how very, very proud we are of how you've managed through this difficult time. The purpose of today's assembly is to help you feel confident in returning back to the academy. So here is Mrs Hunt to talk to you about the testing process. Good morning, everyone. Um, and as Mrs Challoner said, we can not wait to see you back at school next week. We just wanted to get in touch with you uh, before you return or before you come in for your test um, to reassure you that everything is going to be OK. We've all had really different experiences over the time we've been in lockdown. Some of you will have stayed in a really clear routine and really enjoyed working from home and engaging in your live lessons. And can I just say the engagement in live lessons has been absolutely fantastic. We are so proud of you. Some of you and in fact, a lot of you, I'm sure, cannot wait to get back to school like we can't wait to see you. There is no normal at the minute. This is a really strange time and we're not used to um, living like we are and normal feels really different. So when we do come back to school, what we do need to do is be considerate of each other, show compassion and be really confident to return to the academy. We are here to look after you. Everyone will have been in a slightly different situation. So just have a think, stop, think and consider everyone's feelings. We are very, very proud of you all. You will feel a range of different feelings. Some of you might be feeling a bit anxious, some of you relieved that the end is in sight, relaxed, happy, calm, maybe a bit angry that you've missed out on so much over the last few weeks, but the end is in sight. You might feel different every day. Some days you might feel on top of the world, some days a little bit strange and you, you want a, a normality to be back but that's okay and you might feel different to your friends everyone might have a different feeling towards um, coming back to school or how you've been working over lockdown but it's okay not to feel okay I'm going to hand over to Mrs Russell now who's going to talk to you a little bit about this afternoon's session um, and how to look after yourself in your return to school Good morning, everybody. So th what this slide reminds us of is exactly what Mrs Hunt's been saying. We are likely to be feeling all sorts of different feelings and that is likely to continue over the next coming weeks because until we're totally out of lockdown, things will continue to be strange. The key message really from me is you need to look after yourselves, OK? So talk about how you're feeling to a trusted friend, adult, somebody at home, somebody at school, okay? Let us know if there's a problem. And in fact, on that note, I've already emailed you this morning a short survey and it's asking how you feel. So if you let us know if there's anything particular that you're concerned about, we will make sure the right people are aware and can put some support in place for you. Again, other things, you know, maybe it's a nice idea to write down how you're feeling and what we've set up for you this afternoon in the well-being section on Teams is for you to have the afternoon, lesson five, to yourselves to think about your well-being. And there are a range of different activities in there. For some of you, going out for a walk or a run will make you feel loads, loads better. For others of you, it might be sitting down quietly and doing some mindfulness colouring. Like I say, there are a range of resources in that folder for you to help yourself to. And again, other things, make sure you're eating regularly and you're getting enough sleep. Mrs Hunt referred to some of you keeping in a routine. Some of you will have slipped out of a routine. I am actually going to bed quite a bit later than I normally would. So I know that over the weekend I've got to try and make an effort to get that back into sync. So I'm ready for Monday morning. But again, advice does say keeping physically active generally does make people feel better. I know the sunshine at the weekend certainly helped me. 
staying connected with your friends and family is super important as well. And again, this phrase, it's OK not to be OK. Speak out about it. Just remember the rules about if you're being connected, keep socially distanced, OK, because that's for the benefit of all of us. So just a little reminder that we've got well-being afternoon for you today. All the resources are there. In terms of coming back to school, wearing masks will all day will be a bit strange. However, it's a tiny, tiny sacrifice that you will be making for the good of all. And you know our key values talk about resilience and respect and success. Really, this is that showing that resilience to do something that no, maybe ideally you'd prefer not to, but it's about respecting other people in the community by doing it. Again, the advice is that medical masks are thought to be better than the cloth masks. Some cloth masks have multiple layers, so again, they are better. Again, read the advice on that and just do your bit. Just to reassure you again, if you haven't got a mask, we will have plenty to give out. Um, it's so fantastic what uh, Britain has done in terms of our vaccination programme. And, and I know of so many people personally who've already received that. So again, it's important that if you've got older relatives um, who perhaps have been invited that you say, go on, granny, go. Or perhaps you even um, volunteer to accompany them again at a distance. So the government has a plan for us to be able to meet with extended family and friends soon. But if we don't stick to the rules that are in place now, we could still ruin that. So don't get too excited. Now, the next bit Mrs Hunt's going to talk to you about because we know some of you will be a bit worried about the test. OK, so we, I do just want to reassure you um, and hopefully you've seen Mrs Aitchison's message about our testing centre. We've sent that out on social media and we're going to share that with you in today's assembly. So our testing centre has been up and running for a number of weeks. We've already done over 700 tests, so the, the volunteers in the test centre know exactly what they're doing. Um, some of you may have already had a, a COVID test um, and you and for some of you it'll be your first time. Um, we understand it is uncomfortable, but it won't hurt you. Um, and it's what we need to do to get everyone back to school safely. Um, ev taking a test keeps everybody safe. Um, and I, I know when I, I've been having a test in our testing centre and I know when I get that negative result, I feel really reassured um, that, that I'm not spreading anything to anyone I might come into contact with. So it actually makes me feel quite reassured when I get that result. So we've put together a little video of our own testing centre so you can actually see what it's like when you come in over the next few days um, to have your test. Hello everyone, we are really looking forward to having you back with us next week. But before we get you back, we just wanted to send you a video to give you a little bit of reassurance about the testing process. We have had our testing centre set up for the last three or four weeks now. We've carried out over 700 tests, so anybody who will be carrying out the tests for you is already trained and will do an absolutely brilliant job. It is really important that if your parents have consented, you come in and you get the test done because we are helping everyone to be safer when we return to school. So good luck. We look forward to seeing you on Thursday and Friday for a return on Monday. Thank you, everyone. When you arrive at the test centre, you will need to enter via the sports hall gate. Someone will be there to meet and greet you. Hi, nice to see you. OK, so the first question I need to ask you is, have you got any symptoms? By that, I mean, have you got a repeated cough? Do you have a temperature or has there been any change to your taste or smell? No? Excellent. So if you'd like to just carry on through, round to your right and somebody will be there to explain the next stage. You will enter the test centre via the fire doors to the gym. A member of staff will tell you when it is safe to enter the testing area. If it is busy, we may need you to queue up. So let's be really aware of the weather. Make sure you bring an umbrella and a warm coat and we'll ask you to queue at two metre distances. Of course, always wearing your mask.
On arrival into the testing centre, you'll be greeted at the registration desk. You will be asked if you are displaying any symptoms today. That would include a high temperature, continuous cough or loss of taste or smell. Next, you will be asked to sanitise your hands again. Please make sure you are wearing your face covering at all times. Your parent or carer will have already completed a consent form to say you are able to take the test today. There are eight clearly numbered testing bays. These have been set up safely for you to take your test. The equipment needed to take the test is contained within the bay. The instructions of how to conduct the test can be found on the screen in front of you. At the registration desk, you'll be given a unique barcode. Once ready, you'll be directed to a bay. Please stay inside the bay to conduct the test. Be sure to have your unique barcode ready to hand to the test assistant. The test assistant will be wearing relevant PPE to keep everybody safe. The test assistant will guide you through the testing process to ensure you are able to conduct the test yourself and that your test can be processed. The test assistant can answer any questions you might have. They are there to help and guide you and to reassure you whilst taking the test. Your test will be fast and while it might feel a little uncomfortable, it won't hurt you. To begin the test, sanitise your hands and remove your face mask. The area has been sterilised before you arrived. Take a tissue and blow your nose thoroughly. Dispose of the used tissue into the waste bin. Sanitise your hands again before you pick up your swab. Check the swab is sealed and then carefully peel back the packaging to reveal the end of the swab. Be careful not to touch the soft part of the swab. Open your mouth wide and use a mirror to look at the back of your throat. Then use the swab to rub firmly four times on each side. Remove the swab carefully without touching your teeth, tongue or gums. Gently place the swab about two to two and a half centimetres inside one nostril. Roll the swab four to five times along the lining of the nostril. This will take about 10 to 15 seconds. Your swab can then be placed in a tube for testing. This takes about 30 minutes. At the end of the test, you need to sanitise your hands and replace your face covering. You will then need to put any waste into the waste bin and take an antibacterial wipe to wipe down the area and anything you've touched within your bay. So once you've done your test, follow on out this way. We'll ask that you leave straight away. We can't have any socialising, I'm afraid, because it's so important that we do keep the distance from each other. Your parents will then receive a text and an email to let you know if your test is positive or negative. Hopefully it will be negative and therefore we'll be able to see you back here on Monday. Okay, for Monday morning you'll come in the main gates entrance. Everybody who has had a test will come in that way and you'll go to your tutor rooms. We're so looking forward to seeing you. So I'm just going to hand over to Mrs Russell to go through a few final details um, and hopefully we'll see you over the next few days. Please do make sure um, you try and um, come to the testing centre at your allocated time slot. Um, it, that will make it easier for everyone um, and we'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Mrs Hunt. OK, so just a little reminder from me, you know that Mrs Russell is the one that tends to be like the mother who nags. So make sure your uniform is sorted. That means you need to try it on. The reality is lots of you have, have changed size and shape a little bit during this time. 
Um, supermarkets are open and there's all sorts of online options to order stuff. But if you leave it till the last minute, then you probably won't have the right thing. Um, but there's no excuses. OK, do your bit and a reminder, no hoodies. Again, a reminder about equipment. You know, you've got to come with your own equipment. It's a time when we can't be sharing things. Um, but also to say, although you've done absolutely loads of home learning, I don't want you to have to bring it in from day one and carry it around. OK, so just wait for your teachers to specifically ask for any work. Reminder about timings as well. Uh, yes, we all need to be here ready for registration at 8.45 on that Monday, uh, but you will get a bit more detail about just a reminder about staggering the start of the day because we don't want a thousand of you coming through the gate at the same time. And I know I've already talked about face covering, so you will already know how important it is for us to do our little bit to help. So remember, we all need to be wearing masks um, and really appeal. Uh, the appeal is, of course, staff will be nagging you about it. So let's make it easy for everybody. Just do the right thing. OK, as Mrs Hunt's already said, and you could tell from the way Mrs Challoner greeted you at the beginning and probably the way I'm talking to you, we are so proud of you. Your engagement in learning has been sensational. We massively care about you. We've missed you and we genuinely cannot wait to see you so that you can be the best that you can be. See you soon. Take care.